we have an entity relationship or ER diagram we're gonna look through this entire thing and just do a quick overview of it because we've previously and this is in the playlist link below the like button gone over all of these different specific types and now we're putting it together so first we have our entity which is employee they have many attributes like sex address salary they have a key social security number and another attribute birthday now they do have a recursive relationship we just went over this with the relation supervision. They're one supervisor and many supervisee. They also have a composite attribute and a composite attribute can have more than one attribute. It's basically divided into smaller sub parts. So we have name and then our first name, middle initial, last name. Now this employee has a total participation with the department and this employee is going to just be one manages. So they manage one thing and they have a total relationship with the department. So looking at these individually, let's look at works for. So all of our employees, because we have total participation, work for at least just one department. And so that's going to be the works for. Next, we have the managers. So an employee can manage one department. Since this is partial participation, it means it's not a for sure. However, this next part is for sure. So an employee may manage a department, and this employee has to be a manager of like a specific department. So if an employee is a manager, because remember they can or they don't have to be, if but if they are a manager, they're gonna have a start date and they have to manage a specific department. And this department has um, some attributes and a derived part. So they have keys, the name and number. They also have a multi-value attribute. Any employee must work for a department. Talked about this here. And so that means our number of employees with the derived symbol, that's when we have a dotted circle, can be derived probably from how many employees works for and then also manages this department. Now, the controls is what we're gonna look at next. So this department has a control over projects, right? And they all report to one department, but there can be many projects, which is the N. They're all controlled by one department. So that's going to be that relationship. Now we can look on the employee to project. So we have works on here. So many employees, but all of those employees, because of total participation is going to work on many projects total participation again here and we have hours with this we have attributes with the project with keys as well now employee also has another relationship dependent of this is a weak entity so this dependent of is going to depend on if our employee exists how many employees we have so if we have employees here we have partial participation to our relationship dependence of, which has total participation to our dependent. So this is a one to many, and we're basically saying if we have dependence of, all of these dependents are going to be dependents of our employee. Our dependent is a weak entity, and so we have a partial key, which is the name of the dependent, and then we have these attributes as well. And that's how we would look at this ER diagram. If you want more information about ER diagrams or the material we covered, they'll be in the playlist linked below the like button. And we're going to be doing another exercise where we actually draw something like this out with instructions. And that will be the next video in the playlist link below the like button.